Hey, it's Molecular Matt with another episode of Science in the News. This week marked the completion of the most epic road trip. It's the first time a self-driving car has completed a coast-to-coast -coast drive across the United States. The company Delphi Automotive completed the 3,400-mile trip on autopilot for 99% of the time. There were a few points where the driver had to take control, like in complex construction zones and in densely populated areas. Autonomous cars are an incredibly exciting technology that will soon impact all of our lives a great deal. Why are they so important? Three reasons. Number one, there will be way fewer accidents. By some estimates, self-driving cars are expected to reduce accidents by 90%, as well as eliminate the need for traffic law enforcement, which is about half of most police forces. The cars at Google and Delphi are already safer than many human drivers, and they are getting better at an exponential rate, which is the case for all forms of information technology. Number two, traffic will be less congested and the speed limit will be much higher. Self-driving cars have reaction times that are a fraction of the best a human can do. The Delphi car was outfitted with 360 degrees of radar, cameras, and laser sensors. Plus, the car will be able to communicate large amounts of data with a network of other cars. They will be able to look miles ahead at the conditions of the road or know exactly when the car ahead of it is changing lanes. Turning signals will probably become obsolete. Elon Musk got a lot of attention a few weeks ago for suggesting that one day it will be illegal to drive a car yourself. It will be seen as needlessly reckless to let a human drive the car when a computer can do it so much better. And it's easy to imagine how dangerous that would be if turn signals did become obsolete. Here's a simulation of an intersection of autonomous cars. How would you like to scramble through that mess? And that takes us to number three. Self-driving cars will dramatically change the transportation economy. They're basically going to eliminate the need for anyone to own a car. Think about how much time your car is just sitting there in the garage, in the parking lot. While you're sleeping, this huge piece of machinery is just taking up space. With self-driving cars, everyone will basically be on a one-way trip everywhere they go. They'll call the car, it'll pick them up, take them to the airport, drop them off, and off it goes, basically like a cab today, except at a fraction of the cost. Rental car companies will go extinct, and auto insurance won't even make sense anymore. Yes, it will seem strange at first, and sure, it'll take some time for our culture to adapt, but do these automated teller machines really seem that strange to you anymore? Not really. Well, that does it for this episode of Science in the News. Subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ask that question that keeps on asking. Why? Where do you get your science news? <laughs> oh, um, that's so unexpected. Well, I get all my science news from uh, Molecular Matt. You should subscribe on YouTube. Caroline, do you love Molecular Matt? Put this on real quick. I'm sorry, tell me again. <laughs> do you love Molecular Matt and Science in the News? Just say oh, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I love